So the panel gave us a little bit of colostrum left over. I don't know if we'll be able to feel anything from this little bit. It's a little bit. How much do you drink, Laird Hamilton? I knew he was going to be thinking about Laird Hamilton and the colostrum. And coffee. What have you eaten today? 1 p.m. What, have you, what have you consumed? Uh, I actually consumed a lot. Steel cut oats, eggs, and milk, and coffee, and honey chocolate. Did you save any of that for me? Yeah. Okay, cool. Granted, I probably woke up, I woke up a lot later than him. I've had coffee. Bye bye. See you, Bob. About a liter of water with a half a squeeze of lemon. Nathaniel's probiotics. Because when I was being in Peru, we ended up taking antibiotics. I don't know, everyone got sick at one point. I got, we both got messed up with some fever stuff. So I've been taking these after my dose of Cipro, the miracle antibiotic. If you're ever in Peru with diarrhea or fever and you feel like you're gonna die. I've also probably drinking two and a half liters of water and I'm pooping like a machine. Who do you listen to during your workouts? I mean, I'm listening to Lil Wayne rap about Kobe Bryant. What's more inspirational than that? Who do you listen to while you work out, Timothy? I listen to the, the little voice in my head that says, if you don't do this handstand, I'm gonna kick your... I got the raw props here. He does this pretty much every day. No, every, what, four days? Four days, yeah. He makes a salad that includes some of the ingredients you see here. And then he cooks it every day. He cooks his salad. Only for a few minutes. I, don't, I just warm it up. What's unique about the salad, you said? Well, it's it just how quick you can have a salad. Once I, once I have it in the bowl, I uh, cool. I put it in the salad, and uh, I mean I put it in a frying pan, warm it up for about two or three minutes, four minutes, maybe mm -hmm. five minutes the most, and then I take it out, put it on top of fresh spinach. Whoa. Spinach is uh, here. I'll show you. That sounds smart. He it sounds like he's cooking most of the cruciferous, harder to digest vegetables, and he's eating the easy, soft, leafier greens raw. Right. And then I'll put a fresh salad in here, which I can show you in a minute. And then uh, I'll take the one that's on the. I'm steaming. I'm actually. All right, y'all gonna open it? I can't tell if you're doing it. No, there's the gift. We're trying to give y'all a gift. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a token of our appreciation. I'm playing your buddy. Can we find it? Go. Welcome back. It is now 3.47, daily vlog. Uh, I'm making one of my favorite cooked foods, which are sweet potatoes from Georgia. Organic, of course. What other buzzwords can I throw out you? I'm gonna cook them with butter and coconut oil. This coconut oil is uh, the containers from Nutiva, but the actual oil is from Earthshift, from our buddy, Dr. Bazaar. You've seen him in our videos. You seem to love him. He always gets more views, but yeah, Rob Ra's favorite cooked food, or Rob Ra cooking food, believe it, is probably either... Well, the food that I think does best with cooking is either a sweet potato or plantains. I just think they're better cooked than they are raw. That's a close one. Don't you guys? Don't you think so? So anyways, how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna... And I like the... I'm about to poop like a machine, speaking about it. I'm just, just like... I'm like, I'm like turtle heading right now, prairie dogging. But uh, those probiotics I've been taking since I've been getting back, and I, I like them actually. Nathaniel, what do you think about those? The probiotics? Yeah, those in particular. Oh, I think they're great. I actually, I wasn't, I, I haven't done much probiotic use, but I feel generally really good. And then I've had the dirt pills, obviously, which helps me poop mud. When you drink enough, even you take three of these three times a day, and you uh, freaking drink a lot of water, whoo, it's like a swamp in the toilet. I didn't have quite as much success on those mud pills, but maybe I, uh, you know, wasn't doing them like he was. So anyways, back to the uh, subject at hand was to taste this colostrum. Never had it before. So you just want to split half and half? Sure. Oh, I have a little raw milk too. I uh, raw milk. And then I went to the farm yesterday and bought 20 gallons. Is that right? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Cal. Are you able to get both of this in the shot? Mm -hmm. No. Can you guess what I'm doing? Go, Tim Timothy, you want you? Who is that? Who is that? Oh. 
that was a pretty good job by Timothy. Diana, how are you doing out there? I'm doing pretty good. Just this is an out. awesome stretch. I'm gonna let go of you for a second. All right. You want the camera, Timothy? See what, they, what it looks like from our angle? I'll give Timothy the camera so you can see what we're doing. It's on. Yeah. We're going for the kiss on camera. I can't watch this. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And then I take it from there, put it on top of the fresh spinach, and then I'll, I'll have some type of meat, or uh, shrimp, or right. eggs. Another note, what about mushrooms? No one ever talks about mushrooms in the raw vegan community, or it seems like it's, it seems like it's a huge part of the raw food world, but I don't hear much about it. What are your opinions on mushrooms? Raw, cooked? How we should eat them? Should we eat them? Are they good? Are they bad? At this point, the evidence is pretty conclusive that these types of vegetables, uncooked and sometimes cooked, give me gas. You know that stinky cut stuff that comes out your butt? It's the only sickness I have is gas. <laughs> it's pinged up and down my body. It is true though. What about I think, you? I don't, when I cook it a little bit, it doesn't do that to me. Hmm. What was that? When I cook it a little bit, it doesn't give me gas or anything. Hmm. <laughs> don't, give me, don't give me any problems. There's no stall. You can't be controlled yeah. by tubes right now. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Open it up. <laughs> oh. oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Get a nice little pan. I'm gonna pan sear them in butter and coconut oil, and then I'll probably add some cinnamon and some of this garlic and onion salt right here. You guys seem to be interested in what products we use. So these are from Real Salt. And the garlic and onion's awesome. And I might actually glaze it in some honey. So those will be honey glazed, cinnamon sprinkled, garlic and onion, real salt, all seared in coconut oil and uh, butter. And I'll show you the finished product in a little bit. They're divine, aren't they? Ask the camera woman. They are so delicious. We got Timothy working on a cat project. <laughs> <laughs> Tape hands. <laughs> and wait, have you seen that video? Show him like that. <laughs> I do have one little tip actually now that I think about sweet potatoes versus regular potatoes. I think like, just a good tip in your life if you don't want to go crazy and eat raw meat or raw milk or all fruits and vegetables and experiment, just maybe turn everything. What did you say? It gives you a good healthy bowel movement. If you eat like one salad a day like this, you'll have a healthy downward every day. And you know what I say? What Team Mango says, if you ain't pooping, you ain't living. Yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. Right. And it's uh, pretty remarkable. If I don't eat a salad, then I don't have a bowel movement. So it's like... What shapes are your bowel movements? So, shape of my uh, colon. You go to our... <laughs> the same shape as my colon. And I got a big right, so like, for instance, we have a video here. This one is two I'm going for the taste test. Well, that definitely doesn't taste exactly like milk, I'll tell you that. Diana, do you want to try this? No. No? No. That's good. I have no problem with it. Huh. So I've seen whey, pure whey protein uh, separated from the fat. And that is what I would imagine the whey protein oh. tastes like. A little bit of an aftertaste. We got a little of an animally aftertaste, it must mean. Oh, it's like, definitely not as nice milk. as the milk. Yeah, that must make me a little nauseous. So. Maybe it's just because I know what the colostrum is. And maybe I know how what it mm. should taste like. I don't know. I got a little bit of an aftertaste that kind of like, like a little nauseating. But it just hit me in the back of the throat. And be honest, you get that at all? What happened to you? Know? I don't think I got an aftertaste. I think it just tastes kind of salty and yellowy. Yellowy? Mm hmm. Well, I guess since this stuff is so valuable, we might as well not let any of it go to waste. I'll use the raw milk, which is unbelievable. Are you allowed to promote your raw milk company on here? Uh, I think so. Yeah, Man, these people. Away. Oh, wow. It's like a time to get the turkey. That's too bad. Oh, did I tell you some other stuff? Is it really your birthday? No. Oh. Are you just kidding? Why would you... Why would you... What? Is it camera? Oh my gosh! 
Man, I was trying to get there in a real moment on the camera. It's hard dealing with oblivious people. Oh, it's not, there's, there's, there's no tricks. There's no tricks. There's no tricks. It's just a gift. Have you guys had these? No. They're, They're so good. good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm obsessed with these. Oh, look at that. Got y'all a good gift then. Diana, have you had them? Yeah. Yeah, they're unbelievable. Wow. Wow. I've had that one and that one. I used to get these at Whole Foods. Gluten free. Gluten <laughs> free. Show up here. Now that I know you're on camera, you might as well show them off now. <laughs> to be honest, you probably should talk about that company. They're Christian cows. <laughs> Maybe you should talk about that milk they're producing because that's no joke. Do you think you have the best? Is this the best milk you've ever had? Yeah, by far. Really? Out of all the milk you've ever tasted? Yep. Yeah. I, I might agree with that. Although I like Clarabelle Farms out of California. In the glass bottles, it might be glass bottle bias though. But for all you guys that are interested in lifting weights and getting strong, um, since we've been back from Peru, I lost a lot of weight in Peru, got real skinny like a little stick. I'm taking the opportunity to be back home to drink a lot of raw milk, drink, eat, eat a lot of foods, and try to get my strength back up. Because I love, I love being strong and feeling capable of doing things physically when I want to be able to. You want to see my sh me move my shirt off? Okay. Tell you, but in the meantime, where's your raw chocolate? I want to try it. Mom. It's right there. That's it, right? That's, look at my sample. <laughs> I was asking, I thought he had a sample for me. That looks like this someone is a, just like, they, they <laughs> ate something and snotted out of their nose and they want me to eat it. This is delicacy. I just took raw honey and raw cacao and mixed them together and froze them. But anyway, back to me. Um, as you can see, I'm putting on a little weight and I feel good about that weight, you know? Four packs. Like I told you, that's what's in. So, let's see how Timothy did. I'm here. lifting heavier weights, feeling good, feeling strong. Tastes like honey. Yep, a little, little cacao in there. Man, that tastes like. Sure, honey. Look at cow. All right. <laughs> but you can from white to colored. So that means like your white potatoes, turn them into uh, sweet potatoes, or your white sugar turn into brown sugar, or your uh, the animal is mad. Your white rice turned into brown rice or wild rice. Show from the beginning. It's better to show from the beginning. I can't believe they did that. We gotta see people's reaction. Look at that tape. Ooh, that looks awesome. I wanna play with that tape. Hey. Tape is moving, I'm gonna follow it because I'm so interesting by moving things. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, uh, it's a little sticky. Oh, suspicious. Hmm. All right. Um, let me see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand on this tape. Oh my gosh, it's coming! <laughs> There's some weird things going on here. <laughs> You never know what the Rob Ross are up to, but look forward to this one. <laughs> gluten free, my thing. Everybody makes hungry for it. Now I can have some more of the gluten free drinks. I wonder what this one is, though. Let's play a little bit here. There's another gift. There's another gift underneath there. Oh. 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 <laughs> I was thinking just in case you Rob Ross and Ross sisters out there want to try this at home, which I do oh, recommend, no, didn't. these are one of the few things I do recommend trying at home that we do, um, would be to make, now you see I have a nice film of cooking the oil and butter there, see it? Bam, bam, and this would be a great s snack that might be a healthy alternative to what, maybe if this is, doesn't seem that of a big step to you, but maybe your parents or family or friends who are eating french fries, maybe this is, I think, much better and much healthier. So you want them really thinly sliced, and you want a big flat pan like this, and you want a low temperature. If you do them a high temperature, you might burn them. So you want a low temperature and you want to cover them. Once I lay them all flat on here, like this, you can maybe get a close up of this and you'll uh, see how it looks. You want them all to be on the pan. That's why you want a big fat pan. And you want to basically do that. And then, you know, while it's cooking, I'll put the, uh, the salt, which is onion and garlic salt, from real salt. You might as well go with the real stuff. And then, at the very end, I'll start putting this uh, cinnamon and the honey, kind of glaze it. Get back in seconds. So nice of you to be cooking for me. <laughs> 
maybe on five minutes. Right? Mm -hmm. Fresh. Add that to this. And you got a fresh dish of uh, you mix the mix it up and the greens get a little bit soft but not much. It doesn't get soggy. The greens are kind of real fresh, the vegetables are real fresh. They're not super hot, but they're hot. They're kind of steam feeling like with butter and coconut oil on them. And that's what I use as a dressing. I'll add nothing else to it. Then I go for, my, now for tonight, meat, meat of the choice is turkey. I always change it around. Just throw, cut, it, uh, cut up some fillets, turkey fillets. Put it on here. This, take, this just takes a few minutes. Maybe, you know, maybe five minutes to cook up. You just kind of cook it lightly with the same butter sauce that it was cooking up butter sauce. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, sweet potato update. We got the, and now I'm starting to sprinkle the cinnamon on there, as you can see, a nice, a nice film of cinnamon. This will make you choke, though, if, uh, if you have them sprinkled on top at the very end, you'll start choking on cinnamon if you've ever seen the cinnamon challenge. Woo, look that up. Uh, so you don't want that at the very end. You want to kind of cook it in there and then glaze it with some honey. As you can tell, the sweet potatoes are getting a little smaller. They're shriveling. It's a nice, a nice honey glaze to it. Woo, and this is raw organic honey and that I think is organic cinnamon, isn't it? It's yours, Diana. You tell us. Mm-hmm. It is. You know, buzzwords, organic, raw, vegan. Does it make what sense to use words? raw honey when you're cooking it? Uh, you know, <laughs> it's just more about keeping the label and keeping you guys dogmatic. <laughs> What's the word again? Mm, and we'll flip those in a second, and then we'll uh, finish them up, and you'll get to taste them. I just figured out what Timothy's doing here. <laughs> we have this rule in the house. It's like kind of unsaid. It kind of actually stated the rule that the last person to use the dish has to clean it out. And Timothy leaves me this sticky dish with like, I don't know how I'm gonna clean this out. And now I see maybe why he left me such a small sample, so I would have to clean it. And that is that's just strategic. very much a theory. <laughs> and uh, I would say yes. on the other side of that coin, that's not true. And then what happens is I'll leave it in there, I'll leave it in the sink with hot water. And our dad hates dishes left in the sink. Oh. No. He hates that. So Timothy, you really caused an issue. No, these are seriously way, way good. Wow, see if that was me, I would go for the darkest one right off the bat. I've had those. Yeah, I've too. had those and I had one of the... I step one of these. I open them off. Oh, should we, like, should we dip it in ice cream? We have a four yes, ingredient, yeah. four ingredient one. Really? Not too long, so I was afraid someone's going to open the refrigerator. Yeah, cat food. Yeah, cat food. It smells good, man. On a side note, oh, oh, yeah. they're natural. Four ingredient wonder. Mm -hmm. I even know the ingredients by heart. Which is... You like the coffee one, Ben. I think, it's the milk sugar, I think it's milk, sugar, cream, instant coffee in that order. <laughs> milk, sugar, cream, instant coffee, babe. That is Pete's hot and nice. Hello, uh, Ray Pete. Plaster that to the top of the silica. Yes. That is a nice. <laughs> yeah. Does like anybody else know of a, an ice cream that's less than four ingredients? If you do, please comment below. I <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna um, put this on the top of the farm, yeah. so whenever we have like questions for you guys, we'll just look up and ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good joke. That was good. solid. <laughs> Hail these Mary. Really so you've had these before, huh? I had those, and I had one of these. I'm gonna try one. You want to try one? Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Wow. And we just pour it right over here, and you got yourself a salad with meat. Today. Mm. As you can tell, the sweet potato update. Um, look at these sweet potatoes. They're getting nice and cooked now. They're getting that nice sticky honey cinnamon glaze. I'm spreading them out and flipping them. And uh, you gotta remember the most important things with these are, other than being organic and raw and cooked and all that, is that you need them thinly sliced. And what's the other thing, Timothy? You do these quite a bit. There was something else in my mind. Thinly sliced. I'm lacking cholesterol because I'm dropping it. Um, 
What was it? What are the two most important things, Timmy? Oh, thinly sliced and low temperature. Because you can burn these really easily. So, low temp, thin sliced, let me know how it goes for you. I'm almost done. Get ready. It's getting real close. After I did the shake and bake, I had to uh, spread them out. You don't want them really stacked on top of each other if you have the room to spread them out. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, guys. We've been eating raw foods today. You've seen how much raw milk we've been drink already. Someone might be calling them milk boys. But, um... There might just, just because with the raw broth doesn't mean, doesn't mean that not some foods are better cooked. Some foods may be healthier cooked. What do you guys think? For me, I think cruciferous vegetables, roots, not fruits, they may be better cooked. Here we go, Cheerio. We're done. You have to kind of use your intuition and know when it's done, but pour them out. Don't burn what? yourself. For you people that no. are uh, not used to eating cooked food because maybe you've been watching Rob Ross right. videos for two years. You got it. Yes, I got that. Make sure you don't burn yourself. So give yourself proper timing. Wait, don't just dig into these yet. I know you're tempted, but you will burn yourself. So let's let them cool down. Okay. Whoa! Wow. I'll tell you what. It's, it's taste time. See, mangoes first on the assembly line. Don't burn yourself now. Be careful. That's that's number one thing for those raw foodists out there. <laughs> Who's wow. next? Super good. Wow. Is it too hot? That's delicious. Man. Is it too hot or no? It is too hot? I know. After all the warnings, we can't even wait. <laughs> It's not good, Emily? Hot. Too hot for you to taste it? I thought you learned how to drink coffee. Then Bob, you want to taste? I don't know. It's good? It's good. I'll just take a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gourmet, huh? Tastes like a piece of cake. Mm-hmm. Sweet cake. Sweet dessert. It is good. Wait, are you going to get that off my foot or what? Mad. What? Look at him. He wants he to get his tape hand he, revenge. He, he, oh. These are going to be a lot drier than they are. No. Yeah, they don't look that good, I tell you. No, they don't look as good as they taste. Yeah? I'm going to try one. This is good stuff. Oh, yeah. So I think everything is raw, except for the maple syrup. Really? Yeah. Oh. Your consumer review, Bob? What would you, you say about them? These? Yeah. These are good. I mean, uh, they, they feel very light. Yeah. Raw vegan, gluten-free. <laughs> you know what that means? I'll stop you up for a week. Oh, except the maple syrup. Wait, except for the fruit, you said? No, I said Steph proof. Steph approved. Steph approved. Steph approved. Her, her English goes down when she's getting full on. Raw vegan snacks. Mm. Emily, Emily spilled some on me. Do you want? No, I don't want to. <laughs> Emily, are you gonna get it? There's nothing wrong with that. Is it? it didn't even touch the ground. Your feet small. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Are you sure? I don't think so. You're just imagining that. They sometimes do after my vibrams.